It's kind of flat here. It's not bad. And the brook is following around behind us. More roots. And then it's flat again. Nice path. Nice path. Nine times out of 10, when somebody asks you, how does a blind man do this or that? The answer is just carefully. I started losing vision when I was 12, and it took about four years. So I lost the last of it when I was 16. Charlie has always taken it much better than I did. When he got his act together, he threw a rope in the bottle, and I climbed out. We really started traveling about five years ago now. The learning process gave us a chance to establish a better relationship. Loose Someone's rocks. Gonna see that rock. We're going between two big rocks. There's loose, medium rocks in the middle. Step over the rocks. Nice trail. Most of my feedback on the environment comes in tactilely from what I can touch, hear, smell. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Blind people don't look down either. You can't see how far below you the ground is, but you just hear this yawning chasm. I have a lot of great memories of these hikes that we've gone on. This is something different that we can do together and that we both enjoy. There's a tree on your right, so you can steady yourself on that and go across the one on your left. I can thank Charles for uh, helping me take a little bit more time to notice the details. We're interested in everything and we like to see everything. Ed is very capable very dependable, very annoying in his own special way. You know, if I had to pick someone to go on these hikes with, it'd be him. And a tree is hanging over the air. If you have the opportunity, you need to grab it when it's there, because you don't know when you might have the opportunity again. I go traveling just to make the memories, taking it one step at a time. 1,001, 1,002, 1,000. Really? Look at the camera. Smile. Did it go? Yeah. You heard it? Yes. OK.